Hi, in this video I'll show you what to do when you try to push a local commit from Git um, into a remote repository on GitHub and there are conflicting changes. So first thing I want to do is I'm just going to be working on the master branch. So I'm going to add to this readme file up on GitHub so that there's something to conflict with. Git is a great whoop. Git is a great way to collaborate with teams. That seems like a good sentence. Okay, we'll um, add it a collaborate sentence. Sentence. Okay, commit changes. So now we've got this change up on GitHub. I'm going to go to my local repository. So today we'll be learning about um, how to fetch and merge changes. Okay, hit save. Now I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm going to just do a git status to make sure my changes are there. Okay, so there's my index. And I'll say git add dot to add everything. And then I'll say git commit minus m to do an inline message. And then I'll say added sentence. Uh, sentence about learning. Okay, so now if I try to do a git push, it gives me this error. So it tells me that I can use a git pull. Uh, I just want to note that git pull is actually a combination of git fetch and then git merge. So fetch pulls the files down and then merge. We'll try to merge the files locally. We're just going to do the git pull so it'll do both at one time. So I'm going to say git pull. And now it pops me into this text editor. You may have seen this before on accident if you didn't put in that dash M for the inline message. Um, and I know a lot of students um, panic at this moment and then just quit their terminal and hope that um, things go away. So I'm going to show you how to get out of this. So the first you, thing you want to do is you want to hit I for insert. So if you see on the bottom, I now have this little insert uh, message. You go to the end of the comments line and then you can add a new line and just say merging remote with local. So now in order to save this file, what you want to do is you want to hit the escape key and then um, if you see the insert went away and if I write colon, this is going to allow me to add some commands. So I can say W for write and Q for quit. I also, if I just want to quit out of here, I can say Q exclamation point or bang, um, but I'm going to write and quit. So I'm going to say colon WQ and then hit enter. And now everything's merged. There's a new message. And now I'm able to say git push. Okay, so there we go. Now if I go back up to my repository and I go to that index.html file, I can see that there is the text I added. All right, thanks for watching.